In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this crazy radial flash transition in After Effects. And I thought it looked very, very cool. I just played around a little bit with some effects and they got this uh, really, really cool transition and I wanted to uh, share it with you guys. Just so you guys know, I have a all-in-one bundle and I recently added some exclusive presets to my all-in-one bundle on my website. And this preset looks absolutely incredible. In my opinion, they have this kind of grunge CRT look to them. And of course, in the all-in-one bundle, you get all of my editing packs for the fraction of the original price. So if you're looking for upgrading your VFX, check out the link at the top of the description. Now let's start with the tutorial. So here we're in After Effects. I've added the footage. I'm going to be making this transition in between. And it's these two uh, clips here of Central C. So what we're going to be doing is basically rotor brush out Central C in both of our clips here. Or yeah, the artist or whatever you guys have as a figure. So I quickly just rotor brush them out. And to learn how to rotor brush, I have a tutorial linked down below. Boom, we have rotor brushed here. We get these kind of uh, looks to them. And what we're going to be doing now is basically pressing Ctrl D on these clips. And then go to the bottom layer of each clip and then delete the rotor brush effect. And you guys can rename them rotor brush layer and background layer so the background layers we can drag down like this so we have the rotor brush layers at the top and for the rotor brush layers now we're going to be adding an effect called fill to them so the fill effect is going to be adding a full color to your whole uh, layer here and our layer is cut out so it's going to be a cut out color version of central c here and i'm going to be changing the color here to white then copy the fill layer to the second clip Make it white like this. And now we're going to be keyframing the white here. So go to opacity, set the opacity at 100 at the transition point. Then go to the end and set it to zero. Same here for the first rotor brush layer, 100 at the transition point. And it's going to look something like this now. So this is going to be the flash basically. So we can open up the rotor brush layers here, go to effects, fill, then select the keyframes here and then press F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them. Then select one keyframe, go to the graph, and here make a simple sharp graph. That's going to look something like this here. And do the same for the second rotor brush clip here. Select the keyframes, F9, select the keyframe, go to the graph here, drag this one in, this one in as well. And it's going to look something like this now. We get this kind of flash look to it. Now when we have made the flash here, we're going to be making the flash pop a little bit more. And how to do that, basically making a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And then with the adjustment layer, drag it background layers here at the bottom. And here we're going to be adding vignette. And then go to the transition point. And here increase the vignette to very strong, like 85 or something like that. Then we're going to be keyframing the angle of view. So press the clock there. Go to the beginning. Set it to zero, then go to the ending, set it to zero as well. Then open up the adjustment layer, fix vignette, then mark all of the keyframes again, F9, open up the graph, and here make the same kind of graph we did before, so a simple sharp uh, graph, so just like this here. It's going to make our flash pop and stick out even more. So we're basically done the uh, flashing part. I'm going to be adding some a little bit more glow to it and stuff like that. But now for the uh, radial and kind of blur part, we're going to be making a new adjustment layer, Control alt y And here we're going to be adding a camera lens blur. At the transition point, set it to 25. Something like that. Keyframe it, go to the beginning, set it to zero. Go to the end, set it to zero as well. Then go to the effect here in the layer. Select the keyframes again. F9, you guys know, open the graph simple sharp graph just like we did before so this is the look we got now a little bit better in my opinion and now after that add radial blur then increase the amount to 100 go to the transition point change the type to zoom and then keep from the amount go to the beginning set it to zero then ending set it to zero as well exact same graph as the radial blur simple sharp graph and now when i play this uh, it's going to work and create this nice radial blur to our uh, flash, um, rotor brush flash here. Uh, but we run into another issue and it's including the uh, blackness out of this uh, footage here. So how to get rid of that is basically to add an effect called motion tile. So add motion tile, I'm gonna drag it to the top here. 
then just increase the output width and height. So just increase it like that. And then press mirror edges and we get this look here. So this is the before and after. Simple and easy fix. And now to make it glow even more, we're going to be adding deep glow. And here at the transition point, set it at one, the exposure. Then the beginning, zero, ending, zero as well. Select the keyframes, press F9, open up the graph, same graph as before to have a good consistency in the uh, transition look. And if you guys want to get rid of the, uh, it ha has this kind of black edge uh, on the second clip here because of his uh, hat basically, uh, you guys can just add a little deep glow here. So in the beginning here, got to be one, it's gonna have a double uh, <laughs> deep glow here. And then in the end, just drag it to zero. Just a quick adjustment you guys can make. And now it's going to look something like this here. Absolutely incredible and super, super clean. Uh, radio flash transition you guys could use for your uh, music videos. And if you guys really want to upgrade your visuals, check out the all-in-one bundle I have on my website. Exclusive presets recently included, as I said in the beginning of this video. And it also includes all of my editing packs for the fraction of the original price. And all the editing assets is just a simple drag and drop into your composition. It can't get more simple than that. Uh, so it's super easy to use, super easy to customize. And the link to it's going to be down below. So go check it out. Other than that, take care and have a nice day.